Make sure I don't have any boogers hanging out. Boogers? Boogers! Oh. <laughs> That's James back there. Just like cycling. That's right. Except this is cameraing. I knew it was going to stop there. Oh, the Morganser? No, the oh. little... Oh. Mm -hmm. It's really early in the... Well, it's not really early anymore. It's about 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock. And James is shooting back here. He shoots an antique. I, I make jokes. Um, it's a D500. What did that come out, 40 years ago? 44. 44 years ago. It's cold out here. It was 39 when we got here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's okay. It's practice. He and I are going to be in Washington State to shoot eagles beginning of January. If anyone's out there, we're going to be out there. It's going to be an absolute blast. Love to run into you. But I came out here today. I've got my my uh, 600 f4 with 1.4 tele on it. Puts me at 840 millimeters. I'm shooting on my R5. And I have my video set at 8K 120 frames a second for some wonderful slow motion. Should be a lot of fun. Let me, well, I was here last week, I think, also shooting just the 800 F11. I really like that lens. It's a fun, lightweight lens. Let me show you a couple of photos from today. Of course, these are gonna be better, but that 800 F11 is pretty neat, man, especially for the price. And it's gonna go down now that the 200 to 800 is coming out. And yes, I will have my thoughts on that one coming out. I have to shoot it to death first before I give you my thoughts. I'm sure it's awesome. Check these out. What are you shooting? Is it you right there? Oh, is the lens in your way? Uh, definitely not. Oh, it's sitting right... D500 tracking. Oh, how's it tracking? Amazing, look at that. Oh, look at that. That EVF, I mean that EVF, that back screen is pretty phenomenal. It really is. I'm sure I'm not, let me know if I accidentally get in your way here. This is waterproof and I can shoot this on, on, on a boat, right? Oh. It sure the heck is. It's in the sun. Oops.
to watch where I'm standing because I'm leaning up against this rail and if it breaks I'm gonna go in the water so again this is King Gillette if you're gonna be doing a boat a boat tour and walking for eagles I really want to use my 600 f4 because it's just an amazing lens I probably have the 200 to 800 with me but also the 100 to 500 uh, any of you guys that have done stuff like that, let me know down below. How would you fly with that? I'm driving because I want to take my gear with me. But if you were flying, how would you fly with that? The one thing I'm worried about with the big lens, I'll carry that with me. I'd get off the flight if they told me I had to check it, and then it'd be stuck someplace. The carbon tripo tripod and um, the gimbal would be a problem for me on the plane. I think I could check that. I don't know. But I'm really looking forward to it. It's cold out here. It's kind of warming up now that we're in the sun. Hooded Morgansers, another phenomenal day. Johnny Pinkman, thank you so much for letting me share with you guys. Give it a thumbs up. Yes, I'm cold. I'm always cold. I bought a lot of warm gear for this trip. You guys have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're going to do out there. James says goodbye too, but he's way back over there. So we'll see you guys.